Hello students, myself Hima Sagarika, Assistant Professor from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Today I am going to introduce a course Data Analytics. Okay, so before learning Data Analytics, I will tell you what are the prerequisites required to learn this subject. Okay, so the prerequisites required to learn this subject are a simple mathematical operations, probability and statistics, database management system and the last one is data warehousing and data mining. So these four are the prerequisites required to learn this data analytics, right? So when you have good knowledge on these four prerequisites, you will be understanding this subject very easily and clearly and even you will enjoy learning this subject. And then coming to the data analytics, so just I will define what is data analytics in the further, further classes. I will be explaining it clearly one by one what is data analytics. Okay. So just now I will define what is data analytics. analytics. So it is a science of analyzing raw data in order to make conclusion about that information. Okay. So this is all about data analytics and coming to the unit one. So in the data analytics unit one is data management right so data management is nothing but it is a development and execution of architectures policies practices and procedures in order to manage the information life cycle okay here what data management will do it will manage all the data which it was collected by the databases and does the life cycle needs for the enterprise enterprise in an effective manner so to develop any business so database is very important and the management of database is also very important so this is all about data management okay so now coming to the first topic in the first unit design data architecture and manage the data for analysis right so here i would like to divide it into two parts the first one is design data architecture and the second one is manage of data for analysis. Okay. So these are the two things we will be learning here now. So here you can see the architecture of the data architecture, right? Here the data will be stored and here the architect will manage the data and here these are the model for the data architecture. So I will be explaining you clearly what is data architecture and what are the models of architecture and how data can be managed for analysis. So everything I will be explaining you clearly. So now first coming to data architecture. Okay, we will see what is data architecture. So data architecture basically deals with design and constructing data resources. Okay. So data architecture, what it will do? It will deal with design and constructing of data resources. And it also provides methods for design and construct, implement a fully integrated business. Okay. Here the data is driven uh, and the resources include in the real world objects and events. Okay. So this is the small definition of data architecture. So I will be repeating once again. So data architecture basically deals with designing and constructing data resources. So I hope you have understood what data architecture will do. So now coming to the performance of the architecture, uh, the architecture will integrate the data. For example, uh, uh, depend upon the data architecture standard, since data integration requires data interaction between two or more data systems. Okay. And the next thing is it describes the data structure used by the business and its computer application softwares also. Okay. And the next one is it addresses the data in storage and data in motion. So when the data is transformed from one database to other database, the data architecture, what it will do? It will address the data. Okay. And then the data architecture describes how data is processed, stored and utilized. Okay. Here what it will do? It will see how data is processed, stored and utilized. And here when um, 
coming to the models of data architecture it breaks the subject down by going three traditional architecture process so these three are the traditional architectural process so first one is conceptual model second one is logical model and the third one is physical model okay so these three are the major and main important things for the data architecture conceptual model logical model and then physical model so now i will be explaining you one by one i hope you have understood about data architecture right here you can see the database so here all the data will be stored and then the data process will be going here in the three levels one is a conceptual level second is a logical and the third one is physical okay so in the conceptual model it represents all the entities okay in the conceptual model it represents all the entities and then coming to the logical model it represents the logic of how the entities are related so in the first case what we will see it will represent only the entities and in the logical model it represents the logic in the name itself it is there right logical means it represents the logic of how entities are related and then physical level so the realization of the data mechanism for a specific type of functionality is physical data architecture so in this physical data architecture an information system is a part of technology plan okay as the name implies the technology plan is focused on the actual tangible elements to be used in the implementation of the data architecture design okay i hope now it is clear for everyone uh, regarding these three models okay next coming to uh, the data architecture enterprise so the other pillar of the application architecture business architecture and integrator uh, integrated architect architecture sorry so these three are the pillars for data architecture first one is the application architecture second one is the business architecture and the third one is integrated architecture so in breaking the subject there are three traditional processes to be considered so the three traditional processes are already i have explained right here it represents the entities in this conceptual the aspect the conceptual aspect represents all the business entities and its related attributes okay and in the logical model it represents the entire logic of the relationship and in the physical level it is the actual data mechanism for particular types of functionalities okay i hope now it is clear for everyone what is data and what are the three levels of data architecture right so here i want to explain you clearly once again in the first level that is the physical level the data architecture is focused on actual tangible hardware elements so i uh, now i will be explaining you clearly depending on the bulk of data to be processed and a number of data consumers who may access the data warehouse simultaneously invest in physical data architecture includes buying top of the line computer servers routers and other networks okay so this is all about physical model and then coming to the logical model this is the second aspect pertains to the elements of the data architecture okay and the third one is it forces at work which can have various influences constraints which will potentially affect the design so when all these considerations implement a data warehouse of any information system can be guided accordingly right when all the data is uh, collected by these three levels automatically the data can be managed by the data architect easily right so here uh, there are some of the factors which the data architect can be implement are like economics data processing needs and these all are the things where uh, the data architecture can be used easily 
and design the data architecture and easily manage the data analysis for the prediction of data analytics. Okay. I hope it is clear for everyone. Now I have a small question for you. So here is the question. So how many levels are there in data architecture? Okay. So the question is how many levels are there in data architecture? So I am giving you one minute of time. So everyone please think for a while. And if you are able to answer this question. So I hope you will be understand the whole topic. Okay. So I am repeating the question once again. How many levels are there in data architecture? So please take one minute of time. Oh, yeah, so I hope one minute is completed and now I am revealing the answers. So there are three levels of data architectures, physical level, logical level and conceptual level, right? So I hope you have understood the first topic. Now we will go. We will be going to the second topic, understanding various sources of data like sensors, signals, GPS, etc. Okay, so our next topic in data analytics unit 1 data management is understanding various sources of data like sensors, signals, GPS, etc. So here I will be understanding first the various sources of data analytics and then different types of sensors which we can use for data analytics and what is signals and what is GPS. So I will be explaining all these things clearly in the next class. Thank you all.